Okay. Um, well, <laughs> this is normally when we would bring in our remote casters, but no, we, we should... it's Ember because he's just high enough level to not care. Uh, similarly, oh, Marzi alone up top here. Jug's gonna spin, trying to chase her down a little bit, but she is gonna get her. Uh, See ya. Yeah. You know what? It wouldn't be a normal game one if we didn't miss first blood. The thing we've been waiting seven minutes for. I'm, I'm just joking. That's okay. Uh, oh, and Junk dies up top. Oh, like something that purges the trio. Like, so he can't be kited. He, he has like a BKB and an Ags. He seems like he'll probably be pretty unstoppable this game. First round on the silence onto Trent here. Puck jumping in there too. He's gonna be enough damage with the Shadow Realm and one last hit from Puck Tree does fall. We also see Waller go down off camera though. And that top tower is looking really difficult to take down. Yeah, because this is the problem with stacking so much is that you have to like defend Ooh, all the in here with the Boundless Strike. He's gonna jump in. Ember's there with him. So is the Jug. The Battle Fury comes out. Uh, Bristleback is gonna end up eventually falling. Warlock drops down the uh, Fatal Bonds as well as the Golems. And we're gonna see Major's Prophet and then Jug also fall. Oh dear. That was that was <laughs> really good from RSG. That was a fight NGX thought. They also fortify it. Marcy being scouted out by Monkey King. Not sure if Joe Cam is looking to initiate or anything or just keep eyes on her. Top Tower yeah. also eventually does fall bristle. Doing the work. Ooh, sans tip from Warlock. He is going to be overgrowth and caught there. Nature's Prophet getting the kill, doing enough damage. It's funny. Oh, the Joe Cam caught, gets oh. caught out by Marcy. He was scouting her, but while we had those two skirmishes going on at the same time, Marcy ults, gets him down from there and kills him. Juggling in. So Same with Nature's Prophet and Ember Spirit down here. Marcy's going to try and TP out, but she doesn't. There's three of them on her. It's just way oh, too much. What? She does get the rebound. She's also got the pig pole to try and run. Into a kill for Zhao Yu instead. Mid, he TPs in to, for that defense. Silences the bristle, doesn't do anything. Oh, we're going to go on the Monkey King here. Nature's grabbed out, trying to slow them, but there is going to be way too much damage coming out from that puck. And the Dark Willow. They put down the Bramble Maze just for safe. But uh, it doesn't need to happen anyway. It's looking really rough for NGXC. They're trying hard to defend this mid tower, but Marcy getting in there. She doesn't get the dispose of Jug. He's going to be able to get his battle battle blade fury off. Sure, they had the wards to scatter out. He is going to show on the map. Puck's going to come in. They're going to silence him up. Bristle's going to be running him down as well. The overgrowth comes out. He's trying to protect himself, trying to prolong this, but ultimately he is going to fall to Puck. Yeah. There was just no real escape. If you think there is very much a way in for them, maybe they smoke up, try and get a better initiation that they haven't been able to find in the past. Few rounds. I totally missed the hero, the team. Don't in. worry, oh, because no, Marcy's <laughs> gonna jump in. She's gonna dispose ever. He is still stunned up. Oh, He's gonna oh fall. God. The damage coming Dying. out from Xiaoyu is insane. No way did he just solo the kill The strike onto the Warlock also with the spin from Jug is gonna make the Warlock fall. That's not really a consolation prize you want. As the Coil also gets dropped, it gets snapped on the Nature's Prophet and the Juggernaut. The fear coming out to Puck and Bristle just running him down there on the back lines. Nature's trying to do his best to slow them down with the Nature's Grasp. It is really, really gonna do much. Monkey King getting caught out there with these Wukong's command on top of the tree. They heals him up. They're all coming back in for a little bit more damage so we know that he's gonna fall down. Puck to there getting the low. I'm kind of hoping for a little bit more from him. NGXC moving into their top part of the jungle. I don't know if they've noticed that RSG are all up there. They're both actually smoked. Marcy gonna jump in there. She is popped her BKB. The golems also dropped there as well. Not stunning anyone up. The overgrowth coming out onto Bristle and Marcy. She's looking in a very vulnerable position as the Omni Slash comes out. Doesn't finish her off. Is gonna be on top of the Bristle though. They get a silence on him and ultimately he falls too. This Warlock, Roger caught out. So that's a double kill on the side of NGXC. It's a really good team fight that they end up taking taking something they needed, even if they couldn't get the kill on the Marcy, which looked important. He's not a support hero who's going to accrue gold and get you a Lois, or at least not for a very long time. And then you have Willow. I mean, Willow probably needs to get something as well to help his cause out, because right now it's kind of struggle city. It's been good timing for NGXC. They get that kill on 
the Bristle and the Warlock, and so they move into Roche. They are taking it somewhat fast, but it doesn't matter because Marcy again gets that kill on top of Ember Spirit with the puck. The Dreamfall did get used for that, so they know it's not available just yet. The Wukong's command coming out from Monkey King. Zhao Yu in the back line on Marcy. Pops up BKB trying to run away. It looks like they're going to disengage. Puck. Not looking to really do too much in there, but Bristle, he's alive now. He's running in. He gets the kill on three. We also see Monkey King falls down. Juggernaut hanging around. He is going to spin. He's running away, trying to save his life. Nature's Prophet BKB TP out. He is going to make it. He's going to be perfectly fine. Juggernaut still getting run down, though. Gets silent. Is going to Manta. Gets Bristle, like you said. There's just way too much. They get the, the Roche, and Bristle has the Aegis and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go, Marcy. She gets silenced. She also gets stunned with the Boundless Strike. Both of them popping the BKB on the side of uh, Nature's Prophet. They're looking at overgrowth. Triad goes down. The Golem's there as well. Stunning up the Monkey King on the back line. Juggernaut is stunned. Feared. Dream coil. There's enough damage that he is going to fall. Alacrity there trying to do so much with little he can on the Ember Spirit. Triple kill for Bristleback. Nature's Prophet getting yields is also going to get run down. Just a team wipe for the side of RSG. It looks great. Buy, buyback on Alacrity, also on Mizu with the Nature's Prophet. Yeah. Not too sure what these two are going to be able to do, but now Monkey King's alive. The dispose out from Marcy. Boundless Strike 2 to stun her up. They're rooted at the moment, but Alacrity a die back. BKB from MK isn't, Monkey King isn't going to be enough. And so it's the GG call out from NGXC. It was looking to be a little bit of a, a stalemate at the start there during those lane <laughs> yeah. phases. We didn't get our first. The manner for all your spells uh, to kind of stay in the lane from the, the one, so it's like good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Seen Embers mostly winning or at least going even on that lane. Mm -hmm. The carrot okay. comes out. It is TB. Doesn't go banned this time. Uh, I mean, goes on banned this time. Uh, so I'll let you guys sit with thoughts a little bit longer. Already going to get through the flame guard and just force him back. I suppose for Alacrity, as long as he survives the mid matchup, he should be happy. Yeah, as long as he holds on, starts to hit that level 2 slide of fist, level 2 flame guard, you can kind of hold the lane down. Is it? Already going down. Very hard against the TB Oracle as well, right? Because you're going to have the Fortune's End. Finding Bolt for this kind of reason. See what Jokam does do is mid lane, the Ember going to end up dropping, and it's kind of what we just talked about, John. Alacrity, he's going to have a rough time in this matchup, even with the flame guard up, and Xe learn he knows how to play this bat rider very well. Alacrity already off to a pretty terrible start here against the bat. And we talked about that momentum from NGX. It does feel like they'll want the Ember and the Morris to be in a good position up top, though. Getting aggressive. Absolutely. We'll see what they can get done here as they... Oh, Boom Boy getting rather low himself. Now than MKS is, and there is a little bit of pressure starting to come through. The Spear does connect onto Roger here. Yeah, nice pick up there from Mizu. Jokam actually the one to take him to the Zeus, but... Something you desperately kind of need here down in the bot lane, and just leave MKS a little bit more vulnerable on the Terror Blade. Though not so much. Farm of the TB quite a bit. He's managed to at least work that aggression, knowing that when Metamorphosis is down, you can threaten with a Spear, you can threaten with a God's Rebuke, and still have a lot of presence there. Still needs to build that momentum, though. I feel like all the other lanes for NGX are still a bit topsy turvy. Alacrity. Yeah, th this is the most topsy turvy lane here, John X, you learn. Gonna find another kill on the Batrider as he sees Jokam on the Zeus, I believe. Might be able to get there in time. In fact, never mind. He'll go check. But it's not a massive lead. MKS, despite his deaths, is only 300, 200 gold behind. So it's well, fully recoverable for the TV. Bit of trouble here on the Zeus, John. They are gonna land the Fortune's End, and well, XE Learn showing up once again. Jokam, he's gonna drop to MKS this time around as XE Learn will just TB right back into the mid lane. It'll be back up in seven seconds for that spear as they are going to bring the void in. This could be a great chrono opportunity. Mizu, he's going to find a nice arena. MKS going to need some help right now. They have the false promise available, but they don't have the oracle. He's stuck in the chrono. Instead, Lasso is out, but it will not drag him out of the chrono either. Mizu's going to be okay, it seems, as XE Learn cannot trade. At least not for now, but NGX can. So you can see the vision game right now from, from the side of RSG, though it does get denied oh. off, but Jar Bon Bon trapped in the arena. Basic again, gonna try and buy him a bit of time as they do have False Promise if they want it, but Jar Bon Bon gonna go for a run. There's your old TR now from Roger, but can they actually save him? He'll go for a TP play out, but Dream Excel, where's the bash? There it is. Last hit, he'll get the bash off and they'll get both supports. Oh. And that gives him a lot of time to just kind of play by himself. They almost catch him out. 
don't manage to lock him in in time. Damage does by space. Nice spear out, Mizu. Even gonna drop the golem just in case. It's worth it that time around. You get the mid bat rider, and now you have golem up so you can try to force in the bot tier two tower and maybe get a glyph out of this. Yeah, and they're just forced off for that push, but they are looking to line up and commit here. They will. TP's up. Arena is still available. They've got the blink up on Mizu for a great setup here on DMKS, who is dropping low. Mizu trying to move in, but the Sunder is there in time. Instead, they'll go after Roger with the Bushwhack. Is going to make it, but not enough time to make it for Roger. So the Sharpshooter is there, but MKS, he's dropping low now. He'll still have the Aegis up. They are not able to snipe. In fact, Zhao Yu gonna make the jump in, but there's your Chrono being committed there by Dreamer Cells. A oh. nice pushwhack. Zhao Bonbon bon holding them down, but Zhao Yu is still gonna drop. Is they've got the Aegis down as well. Xe Learn trying to go for a lasso out onto one. He'll find Joe Cam. They've got the meta to play with as well. That'll be one down. The Dreamer Cell, he still wants to keep the fight going. Reflection is there, Mizu, not landing the spear on the right target, so Alacrity, he's gonna drop it now, Mizu, gonna get rooted up by Roger, might just drop here, but the buyback is there, Alacrity, he'll jump back in, onto the Terror Blade, they'll get the chains out, MKS, still alive, False Promise will heal him up as Dreamer Cell, trying to chase XE Learn, but he's fine as well, instead, they'll turn onto the TB and get MKS down, but Roger, he's still trying, he does end up going down though, as Mizu might actually drop here to Zhao Bon Bon, but NGXC, they will punish. They will take down the Hoodwink. And overall, I believe that was a favorable team fight to go the way of NGXC. You do have the blink up in Exilern, so you can find the angles for the Bathrider. It does feel like RSG has decided to you know, take it slower a bit. And two supports on bot, though. Try to move in. Bushwhack is there. Ooh. Alacrity again getting taken out as Zhao Bon Bon sets up everything into Mizu. Dreamer Soul, he's going to show up, but Zhao Yu is going to keep going for the fight. Xe learned he has lasso, but he doesn't have a blink up right now. So Dreamer Cell, he can keep moving in. He'll rewind back, but MKS, he's going to move in as well. They have the Sunder up if they need it. Mizu, he's going to drop. Dreamer Cell needs the Chrono. Does pop it, but it's too late. He'll try to run now, but Xe learned he's on the chase. He'll get the lasso off right into Joe Cam. They'll go into the Zeus now, but never mind that. Instead, they'll find Boom Boy on the Warlock. In fact, they even found Joe Cam. Zhao This is for RSG. Oh, if he can get the build-up. Oh, also looking at the build-up here. Oh. Lasso, they broke the Lincoln Sean. They'll root him down. Dreamer Cell, he's not going to have the help. They have nothing to drop. Golem was on cooldown. Poor old Boom Boy. He tried upheaval, but he's going to drop. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Zhao Bon Bon chasing down Alacrity. He has remnants available, but hasn't thrown any out yet. And they're just clearing out the objectives. Roshan and about five seconds it will be back up rsg has a clear objective for the high ground push afterwards Yo, Cam. although i uh, just look at this guy Xiao Yu's having the time of his life doesn't really matter if the zeus has heavenly jump to be a bit more a bit more mobile Xiao Yu easily catching him out they might just go high ground again i mean why the hell not yeah it's still risky with a chrono and golem but you're lacking a lot of that magic damage now on top lane, Lasso's there, onto the Mars once again, Mizu's just gonna drop. They do find the tier 3 mid tower, but backline, he has no approach angle at all. And it just allows RSG to run, look, they just smoke up in the back, they're oh, being no. sneaky. Oh. Mizu dispose again with the unleashed damage, my god, Mizu, he'll hold the shield up. He does at least get out of the arena. They even pop the Alacrity buyback, but can they get, get a kill for themselves? MKS, he's wasted Sunder. Maybe they can, but no, the False Promise is going to be there. So MKS might die through it as now the Chrono has been committed. They'll find Roger, but the Bushwhack is out from Zhao Bon Bon. Have they found him? MKS, he is still fighting, still trying, but eventually does go down. A nice pickup by NGXC. They'll try for a bit more now. Onto Zhao Yu they go. Zhao Bon Bon trying to help out. Does force them to back off with the threat of the Bushwhack. But NGXC, they do at least hold the mid melee bar at the right moment. If they can make it to the high ground, it'd be great. But wards are down. XE Learn still getting caught out with the spear from Mizu. Eventually, she'll drop, but a nice spear keeping four stuff away is going to be enough to get out. And now Zhao Yu, he's trying to force a fight. A three man bushwhack Jeez. from Zhao Pod Bon. Oh, he locks all of them down. And they can't get a kill. Dreamer Cell still trying. They don't have an angle. And now the bushwhack. Zhao Pod Pod is at it again on the hoodwink they found the zeus joe cam he's gonna drop roshan's open once again to rsg 
And they've got metamorphosis up in 10 seconds, but they oh. want the fight. They found Alacrity again. Zhao Yu. Zhao oh, Bon Bon. It's all about the Zhao's here, John, as Randy. He's going to try and run. Time walk away. XC learn on the chase. He'll rewind. <laughs> they don't kill Randy. He'll, he kills himself here, John. He'll do it himself. Yes, He's going to stay on his ground. This game's over, I think, though. So. I don't think they'll call it yet, but, well, NGX. I don't know how they played this one. Lasso's oh, no, there. XE learns in. Golem's gonna be dropped. Maybe they try with the Chrono now. Arena dropped as low MKS. He should drop the first life and does. Meanwhile, where's this Chrono? Dream is so he's waiting as XE learn does go down, but Zhao Yu back in on the Joe Cam again. Save the Zeus for God's sakes. Zhao Yu, he'll jump out of there. He'll leave MKS alone. But MKS, he's the one on the run now as Zhao Yu does drop to Alacrity. Maybe they can clean up on NGXC. And they're trying. MKS, he's the big target, but he has Sunder up here, John. He'll commit it onto Mizu as Dream is Soul still chasing, has Chrono if he does need it, but he probably doesn't. MKS should go down this time around as Dream is Soul still going after him, but they've got the TP trapped up. They'll clean up here in GXC. Only problem is now they are, are up against Megas. So how do you come back from... The Lincolns is broken and that was actually Lasso breaking the Lincolns. I, I don't think Exilon realized that with the time walk it does displace the, uh, the Fae Grenade so it doesn't break the Lincolns. Still jump in. Zhao Yu, he'll try, but he's been stunned up. False promise, though, will give him another chance of life. So they do move in on the Dreamer Cell. Oh, They've got bashes. the void locked down. He's down with that buyback. And the problem is, John, you know Chrono's down. RSG, they know they have the freest team fight they've ever had. So they'll go in onto the Mars now. No escaping for Mizu, surely. They've got the fake grenade vision. That'll be another. Is there going to be a GG call coming? Surely. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see how you hold without the Chrono, without the Golem. Uh, you can buy back on Mars. You can maybe try to make a play. No Arena for a minute, though. Mizu can't do much. Maybe a good spear back. But it's asking a lot from the Ember and Mars to hold on here. Here we go. T4 Towers, Xiao Yu again setting up on the Marcy. And, oh, Mizu. Yeah, they've called. They've had enough. John, I, I think the lesson learned here against RSG is don't give them these comforts. Right.